at Green Brain Comics. We work hard getting the store ready for new comic book day. And this week, we've got over 100 new comics and graphic novels to show you. Join us as we take you on a whirlwind tour of Green Brain Comics. Welcome to Brain Scan. And buckle in, because we've got 30 minutes to show you a whole bunch of comics. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Wednesday, July 31st, what? 2019. That means it's a five Wednesday month. Yes, it is. So when there's when there's two full moons in a month, they call it like a blue moon, once in a blue moon. Mm -hmm. So what happens when there's five comic weeks in a month? It's a green Wednesday. <laughs> Shelf, we have Prince Valiant Volume 19. Ooh, big. The Prince Valiant uh, comics from 1973 to 1974. Also, Cartoons Magazine number 22. Featuring the Hot Wheels Legends 50th Anniversary Tour. Whoa! Oh, Hot Wheels? <laughs> what? Beautiful. And now, on to the new comics. Action and adventure, starting with all-time comics number two. Zero is Deathscape. I like this guy. He's funny looking. <laughs> American Carnage number nine. Ooh, pretty Ben Oliver cover. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Beauty number 28. Boston Metaphysical Society, a new number one from Source Point. Canto number two. But we also got a second print of number one if you missed it the first time with a different cover. Both of these books are very sought after by collectors. If you want them, let us know. Otherwise, they won't last long. Then we have The Crow and Hack Slash, number two. And up on our top. Ooh, we have the omnibus edition of The Boys. The Boys. Now a show on Amazon Prime Video. Well, look at that. Comics into shows. Great. <laughs> and back now, we are at Exciting Comics number three. Crime Buster 76. Hockey stick. Then we got a beautiful David Mack cover of Fight Club number three. We actually met David Mack, and he was very nice. Aww. <laughs> I heard that Tam was Overjoyed with emotion. She sure was. <laughs> Can't remember who did this, but they're always swell. Yes. Steve something. Yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. Maybe Steve Cummings. Something like that. Something like that. Steve. Barry Moore's Five Years, number three. Beautiful. Floppy Cop, number four. Featuring a hey. Jay Foskett cover <laughs> in kind of a tribute to some Bloom County. Nice. Glow, number four. I heard they uh, just... Dropped a trailer for the new season. That's Ooh, exciting. Yeah. Nice. The Goon, number five. Eric Powell cover. And? And, oh gosh, who did that? I thought his name was also Steve, but I'm not sure. Steve. That's some other Steve guy. Yeah, it's another Steve guy. It's a cardstock cover, though. Check it out. Very Ooh. nice. Fancy. Then we got Gut Ghost by Enzo Garza, a new number one from Scout. That's a lot of guts. Another yeah. book that people are clamoring about. What? Huh. Up on what? our top shelf, we got a new volume of Yay. Deadly Class. Volume 8. Wow, that's a lot of volumes. Apparently, she loves this book. I sure do. It's a great time. <laughs> also on our top shelf, Clive Barker, The Great and Secret Show trade paperback. This came out way back. It's an adaptation of one of Clive Barker's oh. novels. It's good to have it back in print. All right, welcome back. Back now we have Heathen number eight. Is this coming out two weeks, every two weeks now? Uh, they're trying to catch up. Mm. I know there was a delay there for a while. I heard this also got optioned. 
Yeah, I did hear that too. Oh, Lady nice. Vikings. Nice. And then we have Hope Number Two. Uh, featuring local creator Dirk Manning. My favorite comic of the week, Ice Cream Man number 13, which on the back is the same as the front. This comic is a palindrome. It can be read from back, from the beginning or from the end, technically. <laughs> Frontwards or backwards. Frontwards or backwards, yeah. And then we got a beautiful variant cover by Wes Craig. Look at those people. Can you see them? They're ice screaming. Cream people. <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream. Ah! Pro- ice cream. Ice <laughs> cream. <laughs> Killers number one from Valiant. Oh, with the variant cover by John Boy Myers. Ooh. Nice. Mm-hmm. I think that's by the interior artist Fernando Dagnino. Nice. Then we have a, another new number one from Aftershock, Knights Temporal, Colin Bunn. Yeah, Colin Bunn's got a whole bunch of new work on the shelf this week. And then we have Leave on the Light, a new number one from Antarctic Press. And Second Sight Studios. The Love She Offered, number one, from mm. Source Point. Source Point's dropping a whole yeah, bunch this week as well. Source Point books. How about our top shelf? We have the new Heavy Metal Magazine. Wow. It's, the, it's the industrial special. Huh. Mm. Ooh, there's a robot on oh. this cover and a spaceship on this cover. It's a rocket. Always pretty covers from Heavy Metal. Nice. And... So metal. Now, a major motion picture. Oh. What? Huh? The Kitchen Trade Paperback. Oh, from these guys, Only Masters, Ming Doyle and Jordi Belair. Hmm. And yeah. a Becky Cloonan cover. Nice. Very cool. And then we have Manor Black, a new number one from Dark Horse. It's my pick of the week. With it's a, Sean's pick of the week. I mean, Sean's pick of the week. <laughs> With a B cover by Dan Brereton. Mm-hmm. Another Looking book by good. Colin Bunn. Looking good. And Tyler Cook, who's uh, doing, who did Harrow County. Yes. The, art. the yeah. team. The team mm-hmm. that brought you Harrow County. Another one of my favorite books. Monstrous, Oops. number 24. <laughs> Got ahead of myself there. And Uh-oh. then another one of my favorite books that's actually oh, no. the end of Paper Girls, <gasps> number 30. It's double sized and $5. So come oh and get God, it. Oh my God. I can't believe This whole end. series has been so worth it. And look at this awesome wraparound cover yes. that they've been doing. Oh, mm-hmm. oh I can't wait to see. Yeah. <laughs> to look inside of it. Nice. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> And then we have Punk Mambo, number four of five. Another beautiful Dan Brereton cover. Oh, nice. Written by Colin Bunn. And B cover by? by... Nope. Oh, oh, David Mack. Nice. That's awesome. I just I just saw this just now. That's awesome. Then we have Queen of Bad Dreams, number three. The Realm, number 14. Red Winter, a new number one from Scout Comics. Rise number four. Road of Bones. We got the third print of number one. Oh, wow, smokes. you guys love this book, huh? And then we got Sham Comics number three. Hey, it's Source Point again. Yeah, Source Point's dropping a whole bunch this week. Ooh, our uh, trade paperback shop. We got Prodigy oh. trade paperback from Mark Miller. Nice. And Raphael Albuquerque. And Raphael Albuquerque. And back down, we have She Said Destroy, number three. A lot of buzz around this book. Roll to 300, we've got Spawn 299. Oh my god, oh my god. With a couple of variations of covers, actually. (laughs) We've got the Virgin, the black and white, and do we have have another one? No. No, that's it. it. Take your pick. Only one issue left. Oh my my god. God. Before the... (laughs) previous issue. And then we have test number two. Volition Trade Paperback, Volume 1. <gasps> we got a second print of The Walking Dead 193, which is now called The End. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Spoiler oh. warning, it's the final issue. <laughs> and looks like that wraps up our action adventure show. Moving on over. <laughs> to our graphic novel show. <laughs> Anyone that we need to say hi to? Oh, there's a whole bunch of people watching today. Yay! Let's see. Uh, Philip Little says, Happy New Comic Book Day! Happy Green Brain Fam! Happy Valiant! Uh, 
Uh, Mike Higgins says, hello, fellow Brainiacs. Hey, Mike. Uh, Eddie Alisea says, hello, Green Brain. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> uh, Janice Dudley says, hey, Green Brain. Hey, hey Janice. Welcome. Thanks for watching. And Leroy Taylor says, I haven't read heavy metal in decades. Wow. Wow. Well, now it's time to start. Yeah. <laughs> no, no time like the present. Yeah. Hey, Leroy. All right, moving on into the graphic novels, we have The Cartoon Guide to Biology. Ooh. Nice. I'm interested. Enemy of the People, A Cartoonist's Journey. Jeremiah. By Kathy, Kathy G. <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Louise by Max D. Ready. Yeah. Tra trail off when you say that. And last but not least, at least oh on God. this shelf. The last volume of Megan Mog! I love these books so much. Bad Gateway. Uh -oh. This is technically the fourth and I believe last volume of this series, even though it's like double size. Look how big it is yeah. compared to these. It's a real deluxe package, folks. You don't want to miss out this on this. This is some crazy stuff. It's insane. <laughs> insane, but super good. Oh, yeah. That wraps up our graphic novels. Now we're going to move on over to our cash grab area where we can show you all the new stuffs that we got in, as well as let you know about our upcoming events. It's a big week for stuffs. <gasps> Ooh. We got some monstrous pants. We got a Usagi puzzle. Oh, look yes. at this beautiful Usagi puzzle. It's got 1,000 pieces. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. And features a beautiful illustration from Stan Sakai, the creator of Usagi Ojimbo. Fancy. We also got these cool monstrous pants. Coffee and Kippa. And we got Fox from Middle West. Yay. Beautiful. Love it. So pretty. Oh, and variants. We've got an angel number three. It's a Ben Caldwell cover. Another angel number three. Uh, this is the one per store. Uh, I think it's Craig Slinney. Will Slinney, right. Mm -hmm. Knight's Temporal number one. Uh, Yannette Jones cover. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this one. It's like lenticular, kind of. Does it move? Yeah. Uh, side to side. Oh. What's happening? It's know. the oh, motorcycle's turning into a horse. Wow, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. That's really cool. Wait, that's is that one. that is that Orko? <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> oh, we got Powers of X variant here with a storm on it. Uh, this is a George Perez classic illustration. Awesome. And we got another Powers of X. Uh, hidden Gem variant by, with art by Jack Kirby. Oh, and we got another one. Uh, Ooh, this that's This is the pretty. new character variant by Stephanie Hans. Yep, yep, that's awesome. Ooh, I really like this one. And this is the Venom Annual. By um, Ryan Gonzalez. As told oh, right, man. right, <laughs> right. Yeah, isn't this really cool? This one's pretty. my favorite. Very I like nice. it. It does look like some of these variants are going up on our eBay page, so if you are interested, uh, check them out there, or be sure to get here early tomorrow. Nice. Awesome. And just a recap of our Summer of Fun 20th anniversary. All of our back issues are 20% off now through September 1st on August 9th. Well, also, thank you everyone who made it to the girl party on July 27th. We had a great time. So now... On August 9th, we'll be having Laughs in the Lair, which is our first ever stand-up comedy event from 7 to 9 p.m. Very excited about that. Yeah, and then a day after, we'll be having our open board game day, which is Saturday, August 10th, 1 to 4. Please remember that that is a reoccurring event every second Saturday of the month. Bring your own game or try out our growing selection of demo games. And these all happen downstairs in the secret lair. <laughs> We should put that in <laughs> the, the evil laugh. <laughs> and also, we you know, our outside event, we have paint out in the park for Dearborn Homecoming from August 2nd through the 4th. We are longtime sponsors of Paint Out in the Park. Very happy to sponsor this event at 
the annual Dearborn Homecoming. Yay. Super excited about it's really that. Really cool. It's live mural paint. Well, I guess it's kind of mural painting. It's like big scale painting that they do live in the park. You can watch artists painting. Exactly. It's smaller murals, but yeah. muralists. Murals, muralists. Awesome. Now we're going to show you our DC comics. We have Batman Secret Files. There's no Volume 2. Well, this ties directly into the City of Bane storyline, which just kicked off with issue 75 of Batman. I didn't pull it for any for everybody on the Batman series because none of the stories are written by Batman writer Tom King, but we've got plenty, so feel free to pick those up. Also, Batman The Last Night on Earth, book two. This is the Greg Capullo cover and the John Romita Jr. cover. Ooh. Wow, that it's, it is a very up with someone else. different style for John Romita Jr. Yeah. It's good to see that feathery ink and nice coloring. I like it. Helps. I mean, it's creepy. Yeah, for sure. But I like the style. Batman. The Batman Who Laughs, number seven, in a seven-issue miniseries. This wraps up The Batman Who Laughs. Here's Bruce. Brucey. <laughs> Brucey. Um, I think yeah. we can all guess what uh, homage this is. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the jock cover, and we got the David Finch cover. Very nice. nice. So creepy. All these creepy Batman books. We also have the Green Lantern Annual, number one. And, what? This, is, <laughs> and this is written by uh, series writer Grant Morrison with art by uh, Giuseppe Camoncoli. Hmm. And uh, I did pull this for all subscribers because it ties directly into the regular series. And it looks awesome. Awesome. Oh, and we got one of our um, YA books, Dear Justice League. Very cute. It's, that's more of an all ages book. All actually. ages? Yeah. Yes. More than one. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. we were giving away these uh, samples of this mm -hmm. for a free comic book day. Yeah, Gustavo Duarte's art is amazing. It's pretty good. Yay. <laughs> we got the Justice League Dark Annual, number one. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> and the Red Hood Outlaw Annual, number three. Wow. It, uh, it is uh, a modest week for DC. Their fifth week shipping schedule usually includes annuals, specials, and an opportunity to catch up on all their late shipping books. Ah, and that wraps up our DC shelf. We're going to mosey on over to the Marvel shelf. And we're starting with Avengers number 22. Challenge of the Ghost Riders, part one. With a cool Carnageize variant by... In Yuck Lee? No, it's actually no? someone else. Oh, I right know. Yeah. <laughs> Black Panther, number 14. This is a really cool cover. I like it. It is. I like this. I think that's by uh, Daniel Acuna. Yes. Uh, and this is a Ryan Brown yeah, Carnageize cover. Yeah, really what? creepy. I don't like that one at all. Yeah, I guess so. That's really creepy. <laughs> And then we got Captain America number 12. Alex Ross cover. Yeah, Another Alex Ross cover. No, no, that's no? Julian uh, T T T Tino Tedesco. Right, right. Good there one. There we go. <laughs> and another person. Um, this is uh, Butch Geist cover. Mm -hmm. That's creepy, too. I don't like any of them. <laughs> All these Captain <laughs> Geist covers so are too creepy. Then we have the Daredevil trade paperback, No Fear, volume one. Another Tedesco cover. Oh, we've got True Believers. For a dollar, we have Carnage, Mind Bomb. Creepy. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> Carnage, Planet of the Symbiotes. Number one, also a dollar. Also creepy. And then we have Conan the Barbarian, number eight, with a also cool cover by Isad Ribich. Uh, we do have a Carnage Eyes cover by Bill Sinkevich. That's cool. Whoa. I can get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Then we have a new number one, a Death's Head. Uh, I think that's done by the interior artist. And a B cover by uh, the Hitman artist. What the heck's his name? Yeah, that guy. Cool. 
Uh. <laughs> that's had from the uh, the Marvel UK line. John oh. McCray. John McCray. Yeah. Cool. Time traveling punker robot. Never heard of him, but cool. Then we have Electra Assassin this, Classics. Yes, this is books. a new printing. Yeah. A new uh, release of this classic book. From Bill Sienkiewicz. From Bill Sienkiewicz. Then we have Fantastic Four number twelve. Here's a classic fight between Thing and the Immortal Thor, and it also features a Thor. backup. Or Immortal Hulk. I don't know. <laughs> Four-letter heroes. I get them all screwed up. <laughs> it, it's, Thor's immortal. And this also features a backup of, of the Future Foundation, which is getting a spinoff soon. Also, the cover artist is Eastside Ribbage. Is that a B cover on that one? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a Carnage Eyes. Yeah, they all like the same color on the edge. And that's by Patrick Zercher. Mm, nice. Oh, we got something on our top shelf. We have Deadpool Volume 2 by Scotty Young. Good night. And Vader's trade paperback, War Ghosts. War. Marvel Comics presents number seven. Another hot book that I ordered in small quantities. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Let us know. Not Let sticking my neck out on these want. things. Marvel team up featuring Captain Marvel and hey, it's Miss Marvel number four. Oh, that's a uh, b b oh. Todd Knock. Yeah, Todd Knock, good Todd one. Knock. Yes. And uh, Iguara cover. Yes. Then we have Runaways number twenty-six. Nice Chris Anka cover. Why does it say twenty-three? Oh. Cause uh. It's probably there's number six of them. twenty-three. Is it? <laughs> it's twenty-three or twenty-six. Uh -huh. It's the new one. We have Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number nine. A uh, beautiful Andrew Robinson cover. I think we got a B cover on that one. Ooh. 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 What's going on there? Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure who did that one, but. Another cool Korean artist. <laughs> nice. Marvel Action Spider-Man number six. Venom Annual number one, Acts of Evil. This yeah. kicks off the three-part annual crossover. Ooh, very nice. Yes, very cool. And oh, we have Yeah, let's let's yeah, go let's up to the top first. here. We've got Thanos number four. Oh, very cool. That's a decal cover. Yep. And a somebody else cover. Yep, it looks really good. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> and here it is finally. We've got Powers of X. Wow, powers of ten. My bad. My bad. Uh, but right. most people are probably going to call it powers of X. To be honest, yeah, we we have got confirmation that the actual title is powers, powers of ten, yeah. using the X as the Roman numeral ten, yes, yes. while the House of X is still oh. House of X. So there's a little confusion there. Okay. I know. Okay, sure. so after all that explaining, let's go back to the stock cover. Yes, that's by R. B. Silva. We got the connector cover by Mark Brooks, the decades variant by John David Christopher, I think, and Scott Young. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I think we got one more. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's the new character variant by Dustin Weaver. Very nice. nice. Very cool. So many covers. So many. Big Marvel week, folks. Big X Men week. Hey, before we move over to the next shelf, I just want to answer a question from Janice Dudley. Do we have a Batman puzzle? Ooh. Not yet, we don't. In stock. We're going to have to look for that. We can find out if there's one available. Good question, Janice. Ooh, let's see what's over on the Star Wars shelf. We got Age of Resistance special number one. Nice Phil Noto cover. Also, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge number four. And a second print of number three. Hey. He's all oh. casual and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever. No big whoop. On our YA shelf, we got Angel number three. A oh, nice damn Panosian cover. Mm. And a terrifying devil cover. Sorry, I don't know this character's name, but, you know, devil. He's, oh. he's that one guy. It's Hellboy. Devil. <laughs> devil man. Double guy. And... Sabrina, the Teenage Witch number four. 
Oh, very nice. Look at those beautiful covers. Nice. Oh, mm -hmm. she's getting some smooches. Uh oh. Samurai Jack number three, Lost World. Stranger Things number three of four. Got a couple different covers Six. on that one. Oh. Ooh, look, a Tyler Crook cover. Oh. Oh, nice. That's really good. Ooh. And the other person. Looks good. Very nice. Oh, awesome. Look at that. Creepy. Oh, that creepy monster. Uh, well, let's see Wait, what we got over Wait, don't forget on... the WWE Ooh. trade paperback. The Phenomenal One. AJ Style. AJ Style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over on the YA rack. We have Fab Machinery Graphic Novel Pocket Edition, Volume 8, The Case of the Modern Men. And we have Sweet Valley High Academic All-Star. Yeah. So sure. this is another... Uh, like Babysitter's Club, yeah. long-running chapter book targeted at like middle-grade students mm -hmm. that, I don't know, must have had like 40 volumes or something. Wow. Teenagers ate them up in the 80s mm -hmm. and now being adapted into graphic novels. Check so, it out. Right on. You were a fan of Sweet Valley High. Now you can read it in graphic novel form and relive your teenage years. <laughs> We got anything on the other side of that shelf, Shay? No, don't think so. Okay. Uh, but we do on this shelf. Yes, we do. Look what we got. We got Disney's Frozen, The Hero Within, Part 2. And then we have Sonic the Hedgehog, Tangle and Whisper, a new number one. New spinoff from Sonic Universe. And look at this very cute oh, very nice. cover. Aww. Love it. So good. Adorable. Blastosaurus Summer Special. From Golden Apple Books. Goosebumps Horrors of the Witch House, number three. Not the cauldron. Volume five of Steven Universe Ongoing Series, Find a Way. Ben 10, More Science. Hey, it includes stickers. I <gasps> love books Wait, with stickers. stickers? Yay. Bonus. And plus the bonus. And we've got Disney's Frankenstein starring Donald Duck, a classic. And to wrap up our kids' shelf, we have Wizard of Oz All Action Comics. And it's a new printing by Ben Caldwell, right? Yeah, beautiful. One of, uh, one of those Caldwells. I wonder yeah, one of them. if there's a Talent Caldwell and then there's a Ben Caldwell. I think it's Ben. I remember looking up this book. And it's Ben. It's Ben. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the slow reveal. And... <laughs> that wraps all of our new, wraps up all of our new comics for this week. Thank you for joining us on Brain Scan. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday at six thirty on Facebook for our live stream, or watch later on our YouTube channel. Also, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we stay in your feed and you never miss an episode. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, at Green Brain Comics. But on Twitter, we are Green Brain CMX. And we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels since 1985 from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn. Feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. Thanks so Thanks much. Everybody. Happy Wednesday. See you tomorrow. See Bye. you tomorrow at Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody.